Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Goes Sweden. Today it's time to talk about my disease again, because actually today is probably one of the worst days of the disease in the whole span that I have it. At least I can really remember when it was really that bad the last time. I think it was when I had to go to the hospital before I even knew what I have. But I think it is due to the fact that I don't use my medication that often. So I'm sitting right here now. And sitting is basically also the most enjoyable thing. But getting up and then standing, walking, difficult, difficult. So what I'm going to do now is basically just talk a bit about how I'm feeling, like all the pain. And then I will be using my medication, which is right there. You can already see. I want to point at that thing, but if I move my arm further to the front, it hurts already here in my shoulder. So this is possible, but it's like really, really painful. And same on this one. So like this is okay. But if I go further, it feels like there's like a resistance. It feels like, and that's the, the weird thing actually, it feels like I have lost so many muscles due to the fact that I am basically already walking around with increasing pain for the last weeks i think two or three because every time when you of course like have pain you try to avoid those movements you do something else instead so instead of like doing like a lot of things where i put my arms up i basically just avoid it and so i think in addition to the pain i also lose muscles in those things which I, is really why i struggle just doing basic things like this I cannot get my arms fully up. You can see like this is the, the thing where I feel like it starts to get painful. Right here I feel like this whole, it's, it feels like the nerves or whatever is like that they have also reduced in length or something like this. So when I get it up, like it is possible, but it just takes a lot of time. Oh, and the same on the other one. Oh, yeah, so basically like both at the same time, is it's the most impossible thing. So this is like the most and then if I want to do it more, I basically have to pull myself with the other one somehow up and just hope that it works. Uh, yeah, but I don't want to punish myself more with this right now. Uh, um, the same goes for my legs. So, for example, when I'm sitting a long time with legs straightened out and then I want to put my legs like in this type of position where you put your like knees up, my knees hurt. So... The worst thing is actually if I want to do um, the seating position where you um, do your legs above each other. So like this. Um, because even though it works right now, my hips already tell me they don't do that. And over a longer time when I really sit <coughs> like this, yeah, it feels like I feel it everywhere. So uh, yeah, that's another thing. What did I not talk about yet? Well, my back really feels painful as well <laughs> like every time i have to sneeze it is like hurting and also it feels like there's a certain barrier when i want to fully breathe in because it like that that's the weird thing i don't know if it is just my arthritis or something else is also wrong with me and that actually makes me kind of worried right now i don't want to think about it yet i just hope that the swedish doctor is responding on monday that they tell me like hey yeah you, you can have an appointment that i get all the stuff for the for the arthritis stuff that i can then focus on maybe other appointments or get back on track do some sport because the shape i am in right now is probably the worst i've ever been and i always just think about it like not even two years ago i was on a crazy bike ride through California and I had the disease back then already but I did it everything carrying my basically like 18 kilogram heavy backpack and all like those those bike rides 60 70 kilometers a day with the backpack on no problem and now I'm sitting here not even able to stand up without pain you're going to see that at the end of the video because when I turn the camera off, I will also not sit down again. Just due to the fact because I have to reduce the amount of this, these movements right now. I will just go straight to the bathroom 
and then straight to the bed without doing <laughs> as much of those simple things as possible. But yeah, so I talked about my knees that hurt, my hip, actually the worst thing, and then of course like my shoulders and the upper body, of course there's more. Why? Well, I don't know why. We have the left um, um, elbow that also is, especially like in the night hours, a real pain in the ass. The right one is not that bad. I can feel something, but it's not as painful yet, luckily. And then, of course, we have the, uh, the fingers and everything. So the big problem here is, I don't know if I have really pain in my hand joints, in my wrists. But if I just do this on here, I can feel the pain. <laughs> so probably I have pain there too. But like usually when you stand up and you feel like a bit weak, you just use your hands and you lift yourself up. But because I have like the pain going through here, it always ends up on the shoulders and I cannot put pressure on these too. So I'm basically like stuck on doing like, you know, like shaking movements that you get like a certain momentum and then you just push yourself through the pain. That is basically what I'm doing. Um, yeah, but what I was talking about is my hands. So right now it is actually okay. But for example, certain fingers are not fully moving again. My um, left middle finger is kind of swollen. I can feel certain joints in here. The same on the right middle finger. And then I also have um, my, my right fingernail, my thumbnail, which is basically the the skin disease of my psoriatic arthritis. I don't know if I can show it to you because the camera is so far away right now, I have to get closer. But I don't know if you can see that, if it is really like putting, focusing failed. I don't know. I hope you can see it. If not, then I just include a picture. But yeah, as you can see, like my nail is just, yeah, basically like <laughs> not acting normally. <laughs> Let's say it like that. <sighs> yeah, okay, now we talked a lot about that. Now it's time to hopefully do something that makes it better for now till I have the first appointment. And that is my injection, my only injection that I have here in Sweden as of right now. This one I brought from Germany. Actually, the things have to be cooled in the fridge. I have read that you can carry it, I think, like at a maximum of 48 hours without cooling. So I had it like out of out of the fridge for 24 hours. I just hope now that this is going to work. I cannot see anything in the in the liquid right here that tells me that it is off because I have read when you can see like particles in there or a color change then you should not use it. But if I hold it into the light it just looks totally clear as it is supposed to be. And yeah, so I'm definitely going to use that. I have some disinfection things right here. I will inject that into my right leg. I will just see how much I show you, of course, because I have to put my pants down right now. <clears throat> but this is also going to be a challenge without standing up. Let's see how that goes, because I don't want to stand up again. No, no, no. Uh, oh my, okay, my left thumb is not enjoying that. I got my pants over my ass. That is already the biggest challenge for right now. This is Cosentix. This is um, a pen, how they call it. And it really is like a pen. So you can, you can see it seems like you could write something with that. It really feels very nice, actually. And what it does is basically it has a needle in here. And when I turn, like when I twist this cap off, it gets ready. So... Before I do that, however, I will yeah, start disinfecting my right leg. Okay. So I will now twist the cap off. I hope I have to... <laughs> do I even have the, the force in my... Like the strength in my left hand to do that? Right now it doesn't look like that. Oh my god, I cannot open it. What the... I don't have the strength in my hands to open that thing. Like for real. What? Oh, come on. I cannot get it off. There we go. Oh, I got it off. 
terrible terrible and now you can see if i already struggle of getting that thing off which is actually really easy because it's just some i don't know some plastic you can understand how hard it is for me to open bottles or anything else that you twist yeah but now let's inject that into my right leg it always hurts a bit of course because it's a needle Sometimes you hit a shitty part of your leg, sometimes you don't hit a shitty one. Now it feels like I have hit a shitty one, but it's not bleeding yet. I think I did it kind of too early because there's still some liquid coming out. But yeah, I put it in. Oh, I just used a second disinfection to make, sh make sure that I did not mess it up. Oh, yeah, okay, so we got that in. Hopefully it's going to be good. But yeah, as you can see right here, <laughs> as you can see, I hope you can see. Wait, let's switch hands because I can put my right arm further to towards you guys than the left one. So you can now see like there is no white liquid thing anymore. You have like the spring which, which pushes the liquid through this small needle thing up there. And as you can see, like this part where the cap was on right here, you cannot push it down anymore. Like the first time when you push it, the needle just shoots out into your skin and it does the thing and then you wait. And right now I think I put it out a bit too early, like it was fully finished, but it is like you're supposed to wait at least like five more seconds because that it really like gets out all the stuff in your skin and not that you take some of it out when you take the needle out. I hope that made sense. Um, but yeah, so this is now basically a safe thing. I will keep that one actually, that when I go to my new doctor, when I have an appointment, that I can show him what I got, that he might can check it out. And I've, I wrote all the information he needs, but still, if he wants to see that, it's better to have at least one of these things here because you just throw them away now. <sighs> but what I wanted to say with that thing is actually it is way much better than a needle because with a needle you always have to like do it yourself. Put the needle in your body. Here you don't do it. Here you basically push it down and before you even touch your skin with the thing it shoots in already. So yeah, that is that. And let's see, is it bleeding? Nah, I just have a very small, small red dot on the disinfection um, thing right here. Nothing too crazy, so that is a good thing at least. Because sometimes when you really have uh, bad luck, you just hit a spot where it starts bleeding and it feels like it's never going to stop. But also what is always really important when you put needles in, don't don't stress leave leave your muscles always relaxed because when you just put more pressure on it then you destroy more of the area and then it is more painful it might turn blue afterward and you just don't want it so always be chill don't worry especially with those like if i had a needle i think it would also take a lot of time for me to yeah to get used to that without having too much weariness of doing like this you know that is basically it right i just think about do i have anything else to tell you for today <laughs> i'm just sitting here half naked i know but today was a saturday for me so nothing really happened i did um all the last reactions for the eurovision song contest that i still had not done so far and then I basically, yeah, cut the video for Sunday and for Saturday and for Sunday. And tomorrow I'm planning to cut this video and also the one for Monday, uh, for Tuesday. Ah, oh, sorry. But that is my life. You have just witnessed my evening for today. Actually, I was planning on doing the, the injection tomorrow, but I felt like, nope. No, no, no. Yeah, and now... As I promised you guys, I want to stand up to end the video. But first, of course, um, put some pants on. But therefore, I have to put the pants back on. 
oh, this is like the, the worst thing is, you know, like I cannot push with my right leg because I, I feel the pain over my whole hip. Then I have the pain in my left thumb, which is basically like trying to pull these pants on. Oh. But now I think I got it. Oh, okay, I got it. And you know, and then I'm li just laying sometimes like this right now and I just think like, I don't want to move at all. I just don't want to move because right now I don't feel any pain. And I just feel like, yes, please let me let me heal like this and then wake up and nothing is there anymore. But yeah, I see already the SD card is running full. I have to kind of... And just when I said the SD card is running full, it was already full. So I have deleted some videos right now. Yes, I could grab the camera. But still, I promise you to show how I'm standing up. So you are definitely going to see that as well. Um, but let me think about first, what do I need when I stand up now? Do I need anything? <laughs> because, you know, like grabbing things when you're standing from lower is also annoying. So that's why I'm thinking like, do place the things I need all at one spot that I can basically grab a lot of things at once if I need them. So it is a lot of planning. Ah, oh, terrible. But yeah, okay. So now I'm ready. And I don't know if you can really see it. Basically, like I use these sides of my fingers to push because this hurts, this hurts. So I basically try to keep the the right one at least kind of straight. The left one is not even possible to be straight because my thumb hurts. And then oh, I just do like a lot of like a lot of this. And I always count, like for real. I always count like three, two, one. Oh. And then I try to push myself up. <sighs> and then I always like stand in this weird position and slowly get higher. Well, and now I'm... Oh. Okay. sometimes like right now I get like a strong feeling of pain when my body tells me like abort abort and he wants to sit down again and it's always like a scary part because when I fall I don't know in which direction I'm going to fall but now I'm standing <sighs> but still I have not moved my legs and most of the time I basically shiver uh, on the ground because especially my right hip joint leg thingy that connects that is an annoying like the left one is not that bad but the right one is the evil one but with that now said it is time to say goodbye i hope you had a wonderful day and i hope you are staying healthy we're going to see each other back tomorrow when it's time when it's time for another reaction and that is the one from spain but also when it's time to hopefully see me in a better shape. Bye bye.